Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Galaxy Season. My name is Rob, and this is Seven Skies Astro. Well, first of all, thank you for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to make an overly long video about all the process and the stuff like that, but I'm going to talk about my capture of Messier 106. Now, this is a, a Cepheus uh, galaxy. It's a bit, having a bit of a burst. There's a the supermassive black hole in the centre. It's in the, the constellation of Canax Venatisi. Now, I don't know if I've said that right, I probably haven't, but uh, but that's what it is. Uh, it's the constellation of hunting dogs. Now, from where I am, uh, my situation on the, in London, my best uh, direction to catch uh, most galaxies, and most objects for that matter, is to the east and going up to the zenith. Um, now, the way it is with the situation, if you look where it is when I captured it on this on the planetarium software, you can see it's rising about 40 degrees. Now, I've managed to, to get six hours of red, green, and blue using my Skywatcher 120ED. I've gone straight through. I've no field flattener or reducer, and I'm using my Play One the Saturn M mono camera with the Antilia lumen red green and blue filters now this is the first time i've been ever caught a galaxy like this with the using individual filters and i managed to get i say six hours of red green and blue two hours each then i also managed to get three hours of luminance now i got this as it as it pretty much went over the zenith which from my bottle seven scars is is the best i can do and I also managed to get two hours of HA data. Now, this is spread over two nights. So that's, what, 11 hours. So I've stacked it all together. And I'm going to show you now on the PC of the stacked channels. Well, I'm in Pixon site, and I'm going to show you what I've basically a quick run through of what I've done now we had the um, red green and blue now that these have I've, I've taken the stars out uh, of every one of these because it was recommend, uh, re recommended to get a nice uh, flat field I was just trying one of the uh, Adam blocks methods for, for uh, dynamic background extraction about taking the stars out first and then doing the dynamic background extraction that's what i've done on on all on all the images actually um and there these are all the stars down there you know of uh, everything i've done every image i haven't combined them at all but what i did do is red green and blue channel combination i've got me red green and blue uh, image now what i've done then is and uh, that's what it was that's what i've got and then i've added my luminance to it now it was all me desktop it looks a pretty cluttered at the minute so i threw it down into a second workspace and then I've also added the second to the second workspace, my H alpha. There was the H alpha being uh, star extracted because I was using Bill's uh, HA to red, green, and blue pixel map. Uh, what he's got processes, what he's done, he's given away for free. And I've had a lot of trouble trying to trying to get it any half decent images what you see so yeah uh, i think that there's the uh first one i don't know what's happened there there's the first one i got on a photo that's not very good 
and I've been playing with the settings and going, and then I've got this and thought, oh, no, no, no. And, you know, this is getting a little bit better, but it's just not been what I, to me, is being a good image. So I went on, uh, I put the the luminous red, green, blue, and I concentrated on that first, and that's what I got. The luminous red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue. Excuse me. And that's, that has been noise reduction and a blur exterminator and a little bit stretched and curb work. So I was reasonably happy with that for a, a finished luminous red, green, and blue. But I wanted to add the H alpha. And um, what I done with the H alpha, I just get the curves on it and just made this so it's more definition in it so when i had it it maybe pop a little bit because it wasn't quite popping it was all looking a little bit blurry and not quite what i was hoping for but it is only two hours to be fair though so i mustn't say uh, i mustn't grumble too much now and this is the uh, the image with the added now I think that's that's starting to pop a little bit, I suppose, is the word. I'm reasonably pleased with that. I'd like to, uh, I might just turn the curves down a little bit, bring a little bit more definition, because it's a little bit, the center's very bright. So I might just do a little bit more curves. So I'll show you what I've done at the end of the image, but I'm reasonably pleased. With what's happened up to now, so yeah, it's been hard work to be honest. It really has been hard work processing it. My first galaxy this year, but it is a total of 11 hours, so I can't really grumble. Um, yeah, so that's it. Well, guys, thank you for watching. That's the end of this video. I'm going to add the uh, two images what I've got. The HA and the luminous uh, images, which is best, I don't know. We'll leave a comment what you think is the best. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, I'll, I'll hear from you. So, on to the next video, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'd help you you'd help me out if you give it a like and a thumbs up. And if, if you want to subscribe, hit the little button there. If not, that's fine. And I'll see you again on the next video. And clear skies.